Well, Liverpool has rejected Marcel's endo bid. Southampton is close to £7 million Burton deer signing, and Tottenham has agreed to the Yang deal. These are some of the stories making the rounds that we'll be bringing you up to speed. And of course, from the preseason end of it, Arsenal beat Manchester United 2 on Manchester City, lost to AC Milan. And of course, a lot more we'll be bringing you up to speed, especially with the Manchester United Stadium, as we're expecting to make a decision at the end of the year. That's the way of welcoming you to Six Sports right here on Six News Television. My name is T.C. Barra, and I do have the usual suspects. Uh, the governor would describe them as the most eligible, but then when you've been at a particular position for so long, you lose your eligibility. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on, Kelvin? I think you're no longer as eligible as you, as you used to be. For some people that, uh, that took friendly, mm. too serious, and they started <laughs> breaking the post leg. Congratulations to them. And for those that, uh, that, that took the friend they like, as if it's, it's, they are going to go with the trophy and they lost 4 0. Congratulations to them as well. I didn't call any club's name. <laughs> I still remain your humble boy, Kevin Ojefia, a boy from the wood. And this is Sooks Sport. And over to the most, most eligible suspects. <laughs> Ah, I feel so emotional today. Sincerely, man, after our 20 years spent at the Olympics, the Tigress gave us something to cheer about, something beautiful today, man. They trumped their Australian opponents. Yes, 75, 62. And that's about it, man. Talking about Olympics, I mean, so far, uh, the Falcons have been playing, uh, Kodri, Aruna, and the rest. Well, I know TC would have wanted us to wait for the Olympics, right? but I couldn't wait any further. So, to everybody across the land, man, from here, east, west, north, and south, I'm your boy Juvie, and I'm seated right at the 32nd, yeah, 32nd floor in my mind, man, the tallest building in the west of Africa, Sub Sahara Africa. I'm your boy Juvie, and it's Experta. We bring you everything there is to know. I'm not the most eligible, whatever that <laughs> means, man. I'm just Juvie and having fun today. Yes, congratulations, the Tigress. Love you, pieces. Back to TC. I don't have all day, man. You do. It sounds like it sounds like an introduction yeah. and a closing <laughs> prologue and epilogue all in one. So probably we'll just save that for your closing, and so we don't waste time. Whenever we're wrapping it up, you've already wrapped yes, up this yes, 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 in yes. advance. But then let's start off putting full throttle on uh, Formula One as Lewis Hamilton inherited a victory. What a very awkward situation! It's the Belgian Grand Prix. We saw the Mercedes team. Um, George Russell, who was disqualified two and a half hours after taking an unlikely win on the track, and then he was pulled off. Uh, an unusual one-stop strategy held off Hamilton's attack in the closing laps, but after the race, his car was found to be on the weight, and his team had admitted to um, a genuine error, and then someone else was crowned uh, winner. Great stuff. Anyway, we saw that the steward found the car had not been fully drained of petrol fuel, and when it was, it was weighed with just a 696.5 kilograms. So Hamilton was promoted to a victory that looked likely much of the race after he took the lead from Ferrari's uh, Charles Leclerc. And then Oscar Piastri moved up to second with Leclerc third and Max Verstappen coming in uh, fourth position there. Uh, some, some, some win, some win, I might add. And I don't think I want us to dwell on that. Yeah. Congratulations, because it just feels like you're coming from behind to win, not the kind of win, win that you win. Win. Right. Okay, so China is topping the medals table at the moment. Nine medals in total. I'll give you a breakdown of that, but then I might just be leaving Juvie to do that. We saw the Falcons lose to Spain after a loss. Gallantly, gallantly. It was a gallant <laughs> loss. Can you let me do the introduction? <laughs> let's, let's not make it look like these guys have not done anything. Can you let me do the introduction? Right, right, right. Have, have the floor. Okay. Drama Can I go on now? The drama you, has started already. <laughs> After tiring, wearing out on the pitch, the Falcons, the Super Falcons as they're called, uh, gave up 
in the 85th minute. They had held on for so long, but then they conceded the lone goal that handed European champions all the three points in Nantes yesterday. The Super Falcons are looking at the window of opportunity. A lot of permutation. Canada were deducted six points yeah. and may not fine. take part in future games. And so coach Randy Waldrum is hoping to take advantage of that window. If, and he, if he wins Japan. He, <laughs> he has to hmm. win Japan to have anything to go at this. It's really a crazy situation. But for Group A, where you have Canada, who are deducted, you have um, them in third place or third place, third position on that group. There's a Colombia, France, and New Zealand, you know. And so it feels as though that, you know, with three groups, the top two of each will qualify for quarterfinals directly, while two of the best third place in the three groups will join. Juve, I'm coming back to you now. Well, you think they played enough? I, I, I think so, man. We need Did to... you watch that game? Yes, I, I saw. Did you notice all the lapses? It, the absence of coercion? It, it's part of football. Did you notice that yes. at the big stage when it matters the most, it, it, that the Super Falcons it, don't come this, to the party? This same Super Falcons. The same situation in, England, in, England, in, England, in the first so game. Very, we're talking about the Olympics, so. Just saying it's, it's the same, we're the talking same. about the Olympics. Leave yeah, England. We, we Leave England. England. Out no, of. I'm saying I'm saying this is between you and I right now. No, before <laughs> we start looking at in the first game, what was the score line? One zero. The same thing. And so now, when did they concede that goal? I think that should be seven something minutes. So do you also realize that is the same pattern? And if we're all lucky, it will be most likely a repetition. Against Japan, you get into the game with a lot of guts and hope, but then you're unable to properly it, it, employ it, the tactical it, it, information. It, it, it happens, I'm and just then saying, because you say a very slim scoreline, you now say, Oh, they were able no, to no, hit no, 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 the against what scoreline for me. It, it wasn't about the scoreline, I'm just saying, let's give credit to the girl. Spain dominated the game for most of the period. Spain, you're playing, Spain. yes, yes, yes. I, I, I think just playing any other yeah. person, it's Spain. What should he, what should he no, no, no. for the, I, think, I, think, I think I'm with Juve. I'm with Juve on, on this. Is your word number one as he stands right the best. there? The best. The best. I mean, even so Nigeria is not make it. No, I'm not even sure anyone was actually expecting Nigeria to play the. So why can't we be the best? See when they play, they score. The question is why can't Nigeria be the best? We are building to be. Do you also see that. in the male male category? You're seeing African teams. Remember Zambia played. Remember Zambia played. Well, six five. Zambia was like five two, <laughs> and then yeah. they lost yeah. him to hit you six five. From what five. are you thinking? Uh, so, well, yeah, is, 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 is this the same thing I'm talking about? Yeah, I mean, the lack of the, 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 the lack of focus. Right. I'm not one with. I, I don't. I don't readily give compliments if you see me. Yeah, I, yeah, I yeah. don't readily give. You have never, 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 especially in Nigeria, Nigeria Africa. Africa. You've never complimented me. I now see. No, no, no. When it comes to saying, he has never complimented me. Girls have gone out to do. I mean, let's give them credit and just say, okay, the coach. Should and the technical hands should have been able to look and say, Where are the loopholes coming from? Mm -hmm. It's just, I mean, it reminds you of when we had the likes of Messi Akide, Papencha, yeah. Pe Pe Perpetua, Unkocha at the front. It's the, the key band, key, uh, um, there, was one, need, there, was one, there was one point where Ajibade was one on one on, with the goalkeeper. Mm -hmm. Apart from, we have like three chances like that yesterday. So it is so just, I think, I think, I think so, sorry to cut you. What fatigue? Not no, fatigue. No, fatigue. Yeah. fatigue. I think what the, the game plan yesterday was: we defend, it. then we counter attack. We attack. Yeah. But our the, the, the attackers at the front we are not really sharp. You remember that Ajibode's ball? It was uh, Oshwala that gave her that a very nice ball. Just do what you need to do, and you messed it up. I, I, Same thing happened when they, when they played uh, Brazil. They had good chances if they could have it, if, it, if, it, if it, they it, if they converted those chances. Do you, do you do you not realize what I say? If, 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 if we were unlucky, it would be. And Japan, the same. We're expecting, like, I'm not expecting Japan, a win with Japan. I'm not expecting Japan is a win. Very, very I'm not saying fast, 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 because fast, fast, Japan fast, fast, knocked uh, Brazil yesterday, right? Yeah. So I'm not saying. I'm just saying let's tidy up the front. And yeah, convert that, that whatever chances we've got. What's the likelihood that they can take advantage of uh, Canada's misfortune? 
Well, if we can, let's just pray. Let's hope and, and we we'll hold Japan to a draw. No, draw. no, even no they win. They win. They win. They win. Do you they see win. us winning? Let's, against Japan? Let's, let, 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 let's keep our hope. But eyes. if we can tidy the front, I think we can. Let's even score one or two goals. In this tournament, we've not even scored any goals. So far. I'm sure I'm the, score. the headline will read I'm, I'm Super sure. Falcons. Participate in the uh, competition knocked out without scoring a goal. Yeah, we're not the first. That is definitely that. That's going to trend. We're not the first, and we'll not be the last. But just let's tidy what we need to tidy. All right. I hope we can keep this house tidy for the remainder of the show. Uh, of course, uh, they get to face Japan on Wednesday. By Wednesday, we'll be uh, doing an in-depth analysis of the team. Hopefully, we'll get to see. Um, uh, do a pre-match analysis, you know, before the game. So we'll leave that conversation there. There we found... Yes, now that we're in Paris, you know, it is your boy Juvie. I bring you stuff you've been waiting for ever, 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 ever blazing. Sports and boys have been drinking, like I told you, South Sudan... Just 13 years in establishment as a nation, man. They went, they saw, they've been able to prove that, man, if you put your heart out there, you could get just about anything, anything achieved. Yes, they blow some, they blow some real good, man. So I'll be talking about how it went down, basketball, table tennis, uh, athletics has not necessarily started today. But hey, let's talk about, yes, um... Basketball, yeah, he went down, Team U.S., uh, U.S. trumping, Serbia, it was a major one, 110. I mean, it was downright crazy, King James and Kevin Durant making it look so easy. And Germany, Germany came and made it look so easy as well, trumping Japan. And not to forget, man, France used their own crowd to beat down Greece, yeah, um... Uh, our very own uh, Adeto Kumbo. Oh, what is he called now? What's that basic name? Uh, Antepolopo. Yeah, he was unable to, to save the team from drowning. But hey, the own team of Wambayana, uh, the French guys, had to come in and knock them dead. And um, it's been fun. But hey, let me, let, let me take you a little closer home. Yes, we've had our table tennis guys. Uh, Quadra Aruna could not do so much. He lost out. A painful one. Um, we got a Nigerian disqualified eventually out there, which is not really good. Um, I wish I could go on and on, but at least uh, for some of us that have had not too good experience with the outing so far, the Tigress, not quite long, some barely 30 minutes ago, were able to give us something to cheer about, uh, just as some other people are preparing to cheer on. They were able to trump. Australia 75 to 62 and in the last 20 years that we've been going out we've been able to have our second victory yes and just so you know um, the Falcons as well have been able to in the last 11 games they've been able to play 10 losses one win which is not really good uh, not, not quite good, not quite good for any nation that is investing so much to get these girls out there. But hey, like I told uh, the team earlier, we had a very good game. Just we could not put the final finishing touches to it, and it wasn't really encouraging. And now, just so you know as well, in tennis, uh, Akaraz and the other deputants uh, were able to prove what they got. Coco, Coco, Coco Golf uh, had a win. Akaraz had a win. It's very hard to win. Sissipas had a win. And uh, King Djokovic as well had a win. And Akaraz and Rafael Nadal had a win in the doubles. And just for those who care to know, uh, Simon Bills and the uh, U.S. gymnastic team have been able to qualify um, to the finals. And we'll be seeing more of that come tomorrow. Uh, so far, I'm not having so much today. Um, I'll be talking with the team right now. Uh, just so you know that I'm not the only one here, but I like to bring TC and Kelvin back into the eye of the storm. Yes, you might not like what we've done so far, but hey, where are our chances of getting a medal so far? China is sitting first on the log with five gold medals. Uh, they don't have the, the largest team. U.S. at 12. 
Um, you have Japan with some four gold medals. You have uh, Australia as well. And other team, Nigeria is not in the, um, South Africa. It's like 21 uh, in the, with, with one bronze medal. Team Nigeria, what is our hope of having something, <laughs> something to cheer about? Do you think we'll have it? Uh, I know Amuson, Ophili, and the rest of them are getting, Ese Brume, Oborodudu, the rest are getting ready. Do you think we'll have do you stand a chance in this wider romance, guys? Do we stand a chance of an Olympic medal or will just come as soon as I come and as soon as I go go? TC, let's. <laughs> I know, I know. The, the, the good thing about it is the fact that Asian countries have dominated uh, the medals table, as it were, this opening stages. Yeah. In a competition that we usually will see the United States. Yeah, when we get to the athletics, well, yeah, but yeah jump. It's, 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 you just yeah. well, then, um, China has taken the lead early on, yeah. and then you have Japan, and then you have South Korea, yeah, right. And so, it, you take a look at the table and you say, Asian countries are coming to the party, it doesn't, it didn't used to be their thing, right? And if they can maintain this level of consistency you know, the, with the precedents they've set early on. They're all competing against each other and they're taking the medals that are available. So you have to give kudos to them. The fact that we take it down the table and you realize that Nigeria, um, somewhere, you have a lot of 31s, you know, all the teams that fell into the 31 category, uh, 31 position, have no medal. And yet, it, it, it's yet. You know, Kenya, we're still waiting for our 800, 1005. No, you know, you know. You know, you're saying there's some hope for them. For some, yes. yes for some, you know that. For, 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 for Team Nigeria. Uh, for, for Team Nigeria. <laughs> Had we lost out in the round of 64. Round even of when 64. Was, uh, was it started with like yeah. three, three, three games ahead. Yeah. It came from behind and how about now? How about then there was a Nigerian female who was disqualified. Disqualified, yeah. Yeah, so. Yeah, I, I think we're having a very rough Olympic season. And then there's just this fun. thing about the fact that we have a lot of representation from um, Nigerians who live in the in diaspora. diaspora. Right. And they, they send in their diaspora remittances. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> so it's, it's not the best of our team, but I don't think the federal government has done badly in preparing them or ensuring that they have, you know, the appropriate registration. And but but, to but remember the Tigers, they anything. qualified way ahead of... Uh, anyway, and the, the, the for, for basketball, South Sudan is representing Africa, and they seem to be doing it the first time. They're barely 13 years in existence. You know, they won their first game. Those competitions require qualifications and yeah. knockout stages. Yeah. They're not the kind of events that will happen within one day and they wrap up. And so some of the competitions that the Nigerian contingents are taking part are competitions that actually will take a while before you know we get to the finals or uh, the games that lead to the medals yeah. right so um fingers crossed right we're hopeful uh, it feels like uh, for the nigerian female team we don't have a male team representation but the female team is slipping off our fingers uh, it's not like i expected so much because um how many years over Almost two decades or more, more since more, the last more. time they were there. I mean, the first time they had it, we, we were there. You know, so ever since then, we, we've had that problem of even getting to this stage of the qualifications. I mean, from the first then, round. Yeah, you have qualified now. And it's quite difficult for you to maintain that uh, um, tempo and push all the way. So um, we can only be patriotic and optimistic and also hopeful that we get something out of it. But then we would continue to monitor the developments, the sporting activities, the various games and events, and put it out here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Be before we go, Kevo, what, what do you think? What do you think we should start as a nation? I mean, yes, like you said, the Tiger is a greater number of them. None is playing. Do we, none is playing at our local league. Yeah. If, and they're, if, if they're much younger. They're quite young. Much yeah. younger. Yeah, then. even the, the, the coach is barely 30, what? She's quite young as well. I mean, something of our I had regular. a lot of young girls, but I didn't like the fact, that Kelvin, not to seem like I'm taking this away from you. Uh, they were just concentrating on social media, buzz. They, I think they were... But some of, yeah, it's good to have fun. But there's a level of seriousness attached to this level of competition. 
yeah. for me. Yeah, I, 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 I don't but, see that yet. No, no, you, well, yeah, you're talking the about social media doesn't No, but you know, when it comes to social media, we, uh, we, we, should I say, we use it a lot in, we, especially we in African, compared to them outside, uh, in the Especially Western. the Asians are more, so, I mean, most strict about it. I was watching, watching most of the, I watched most of the Olympics game. I'm to now, I'm bringing it home. I noticed that there are some, um, younger, younger persons that went to represent their country, like for the swimming, I saw I, I, I saw a lady, seventeen years old, representing your country. That's that that's to show the level of how the government took sports, sporting activities serious. Yeah, which the level we, of development over there. The, over there compared to we in in Africa, especially in Nigeria. Now, I was watching this, and I was having a discussion with my mentor. We were watching it together, and I was like, what what was the plan for God when it comes to sports in Nigeria? Now, if we start inculcating some of these sporting activities into primary school, secondary school, yeah. and even our institution, definitely we'll, we'll see people representing us from the from our from our local from our local leagues at a very younger age. Now, if we, we should not, we, we shouldn't just put it there as if just like a vocational skill, but it should be something like a career path for some of these children because there are some persons, there are some children you know. There's nothing we nothing we enter when it comes to book. I, I, I was teaching before this, so there was this small boy. His name his name was um, I think Fortune as well. This boy knows not. He's in primary six, but he knows nothing about. He can't even spell his name correctly. Yeah. But give him cartons, he can create an architect, uh, architectural work for you. Create build a house, build a car with cartons. Cartons. This so that's that's a part that. But, but, but when the parents saw, saw him doing this thing, they think he plays too much, he can't do this, you must read, you must read, you must read, you must read. So I think the government should actually find a way to inculcate sporting activities into our school curriculum. That will help the grassroots when it comes to sporting activities. Well, create, so that's, create, even create, you, you, have, you, you have more chance of winning more medals if you have a lot of representative out there. Yeah. It's not just about the medals. You know, you could, you could just think of the medal as a, a personal property or... It's Some, a fifty thousand, bro. Fifty thousand dollars. And I'm also, I'm also talking about. I'm also talking about the, that the pride, recognition like, that comes yeah. with it. Yeah. The access that comes with it. The, the exposure access. that comes with it. Yeah. The possibility the for you to have. See, see, sorry, let me let, let, let me let me cut in. When you say recognition, I remember 1994. Yeah. After we won the, 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 the Tunisia. Yeah. The government promised the eagles houses. It was more recently, maybe some six years ago, that those things, 1994 yep. to like say 2000 and what, was that fulfilled? Almost 20 years. And so people are not encouraged Almost to practice, years, right to practice right. anything like sports. And sports should not I mean, our level of uh, intelligence shouldn't be measured by maths, physics, English. I mean, if people are, we, we're having food inflation, if we have more people practicing mechanized farming, we'll be dealing with all this. So I think... Government, get your hands off, but encourage people. Let's all come to the realization that you, we all don't need to hit the college degrees. We don't have to go to the polytechnics. Just do your basics and get out there and do whatever you want to do. At 16, Team US have got people 16 years 16, old. 17. I mean, France has got China, India, and all that, but Nigeria, we mm. barely have that. So our government will appeal. Make this in. Encourage people. I mean, everybody I'm encouraging, parents out there, just as you watch today, remember that um, not everybody will go to the university. Not everybody should go to the university. Not everybody should go to. If your child has found a delight in sports, encourage Coco Golf and the rest their parents. I mean, Akaras, this boy started eight years. I mean, Federa and the rest. So, so, and so, so, sorry to quote you. There are some, some activities we see as uh, uh, not something really serious when it comes to, uh, especially we in Nigeria, skateboarding. Now, if you check this um, this park here, they do it a lot. There, these guys are comes and do it. They t people think this this is sport. This is a game that p they went for it. I saw I saw that, I saw I, I watched them and I saw some of these. Uh, this this there is a little girl from China. I think she she should be sixteen or fifteen. She looks very young, like very young. She led. She was winning skateboarding, doing some freestyles and doing some. Team Team, team US has a like thirty five year old. Uh, lady soon uh, leading and uh, there's break dancing right now this olympics going might not on. be coming but hey, going let's on. put everything we have out there not everybody will become a professor at this man not i love you not until until next time when you see me around here i'm your boy juvi we'll be <laughs> back to discuss sports and soup sports we're not going anywhere i'm coming back right now
So much energy from Juve, the usual suspect, most eligible suspect, I might add. Yeah. And of course, that was inside Paris, right here on Six Sports. Well, over the weekend, we had uh, an event to mark the 30th anniversary of Sports Shack. Now, it's a bar where sports enthusiasts who call themselves aficionados come together to follow sporting activities, banter, exchange ideas, and network. Souk News Television joined them over the weekend, and we'll be bringing you a bit of that right here on the program. Don't go anywhere. I've been a part of Sports Shack for 30 years, and I used to be one of the guests of the best of football, and do analysis with my good friend, Dudu Rume, who's an egg to me, by the way. And I used to work just around the corner, back banking. But my love for football and my love for sports was, you know, unending. And I used to come and do analysis of the weekend games back in the day when DSTV, with due respect, had started but was not well entrenched. So a lot of people looked forward to watching clips of uh, goals across leagues. The days of the, you know, the Finides, the Tijani Mabangidas and the likes, and Kan Wankos. So it was good. And Sports Shark was the place. We'd come here, talk football, drink football, eat football. The local league back in the days, Abiola Babes, Vicente Lions, Leventis United, you know, we were trying, but we didn't have too much of that on, on, the, on, the, on, on, on TV. And DSTV came and revolutionized that. So we must refer to DSTV, to Super Sports. They did their best. We can do better, but what I think we need to do more is we have people at the stadiums or at different stadia, but coverage is important. And we need to stop all this. Uh, what we have right now is if an away team is playing and a home team is playing, there's always, you know, there, there are different issues ascribed to it with respect to referees and all that and all that. I mean, I will be frank with you right now. Nigerian football right now, internationally, it's down. We're not sure whether we're qualifying for the World Cup. We might qualify for the Nations Cup. How, how well are we doing? The condition of our football is in, is in I mean, it's, it's, it leaves much to be desired. We can do better by having a proper league a proper NFF, call it NFF, call it NFA. I've been part of Nigerian football for the last 30 years. I mean, I mean, we all have our sympathies for different European leagues, but the local league is good. And I think the local, good, local league will give you good talent. Shaq is part of, uh, it's part of my history, actually. Um, 30 years ago, we were all here watching football, Gisting, making friends. At one time, we even we used to even dance in this place. Um, so to be a part of it 30 years later is a sense of fulfillment, even for us. Um, also, um, about 15 years ago, I think it was, um, we set up um, SS Lounge. It was originally Sport Shack BI. And then we uh, took it over to run it, and we had SS, SS Lounge there for about almost 10 years. So there's a close mix between Dudu and I um, on, on this, um, on, in this business. Um, first of all, is that we need to put the right people in the right places, irrespective of where they're from, irrespective of who they know or who they don't know. Second is that we just need to bite the bullets agree that we're in a bad place and the focus should be on improving it not you know selfish um, objectives if we ha didn't have what we could do to be three times where we are now so I, th I think really we all know what to do the problem is are we ready to do it we have a number of female football supporters but the problem is a lot of them don't come out to social space to hang out and watch football. And uh, we match them banter for banter, okay? I know that we've been the bottom of the joke as Arsenal fans, but we are here on ground for them. So I don't mean, may, I, well, you may be right that there is um, 
uh, an apparent shortage of uh, female uh, support, uh, ball supporters. But I guarantee you that there's uh, most of them in the, in the houses, uh, or rather at home. About uh, some of us have the courage to come out because it's fun. It's more fun when you're watching in the congregation of people, and especially when you're in a place that, that feels like home, like sports shop. It's a very calm place to be where we watch football and sometimes on wine after you know the daily activities and um, it's the oldest sport bar in the country and um, you get the opportunity to meet you know people across different sectors sportsmen retired active um, journalists corporate you know individual people who work in the bank sectors um, insurance companies and all that so it's a good place to be where you can you know relax and get to meet you know good people well, our board is always the goal for most, most of us, which is the same for me as well. And um, the development of the league at the moment, MPFL, is, um, is growing. It's slow, but when you watch, you know, if you have been following, you will see that, you know, the progress in the last two seasons is, is very good. And um, our board is still far, far ahead. And um, with the sponsors that are coming on board, we start times now showing, you know, the MPFL games. And um, with Mr. Elekbele is trying to increase the the finance the finance part of this, you know, the football industry. I think in the next three four seasons, we are going to be having a different and you know totally good MPFL if they are still in charge. Nigeria for sports and many other aspects of our life, we don't put our first level forward. We choose third, fourth rate people who have connections. Who, uh, uh, who can support or uh, uh, return certain interests and put them in charge and they take us backward. A lot of us know what's happening in Europe. We try to implement or uh, uh, bring them in. But at the end of the day, we find ourselves swimming against the tide. Uh, we are watching Nali is happy. So what sports is a reflection of the society. What is happening in, uh, uh, with electricity, with security, with every aspect of our life? Sports can be different. In all honesty, the team we're taking to the Olympics, um, no matter the potentials, there is a shadow of what we used to have. Time passed. We used to have weightlifters, wrestlers, sprinters, some of the best in the world. But today, hey, we are nowhere. What would you say about athletes who are based abroad coming to represent Nigeria? I don't see what the problem is with that. I mean, if France, I mean, a European nation can use players of African origin to win the World Cup, why not? I live in Nigeria. My, my two sons are in England, they are sportsmen. I, I don't know how get Nigerians because we are born in England. No, it is the management. The professionalism we put in, that is the critical element, what is missing. It's not whether the players are at home or they are from abroad. It's a management that lacks standard, that lacks quality. It was a weekend that I would not forget in a hurry, meeting some of these great minds. The last uh, of them you just listened or watched, barrister Godwin Dudu Orumen, who's the founder of Sports Shark. Everyone rallied around him as Sports Shark celebrated 30 years of existence. Well, coming back to you guys, you missed out on a lot. But then the no, takeaways, no, 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 hold on, no, no, I'm not down. No, 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 hold on. No, no, no. You guys, you should take us, you shan't us. You're carrying ourselves, you're carrying ourselves. You have been sued. Thank you. You have just been sued. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so he, he mentioned some salient points. He said, sports is a reflection of the general state of the economy. Please discuss. Mm. One minute. <laughs> <laughs> with, with reasons. So. Highlight, <laughs> highlight your reasons. Discuss. One minute. I don't want to go back to <laughs> Okay, so I'll spare you a lot of trouble. But then, if you, you had something to take away from all of the things that uh, were said by some of the respondents, people we spoke to over the weekend, you realize that um, there's much to be desired of what we have 
currently with what's going on in the world of sports. And then if I had to just suppose that with what's happening with Manchester United, hoping to make a final decision on whether to spend more than £2 billion on a new 100,000-seat stadium by the end of 2024, or expand what they have originally as comparison to Tottenham Hotspur who had Wembley while they were constructing their new stadium they played at Wembley but Manchester United doesn't have that um, the existing stadium would cost around 1.2 billion pounds talking about renovating that and would take longer to complete and so a task force has been put together and Radcliffe's 1.25 billion pounds deal for his 27.7 percent stake in the club included 237 million pounds for future investment in the club's stadium. So, renovating or constructing a new man, you? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I, constructing a new takes more time. Yeah. Renovating, you know, there's a there's a there's a train track that runs behind um, oh, uh, Charles. Okay. I think it's Charles stand. So, so I, I think I think renovating will be better now for to to save them the, the stress stress and the cost. To renovate will be better, and even the 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 location. People are used to that yeah. particular environment now building something you build something fresh from the start will cause them loss it's going to inconvenience the players for for a very long time till they are done with it and also the the fans as well so i think renovating will be better for my my, my opinion juvie let me bring you in from this angle the last time we talked about amadu bello stadium um the fact that the government was going to be collaborating with NFF to renovate that stadium. We, we agreed to a large extent that we didn't want government interference. Here, tax force has been set up. Private individuals and sports companies are yeah. coming. And then you look at the state of the stadium across Nigeria. Just very recently, CAF approved AIMBA to host you know, continental fixtures. Before that, we just had the nest of champions as the only game that was FIFA, the stadium that was FIFA approved. And that leaves a lot to be desired, considering the fact that we have pockets of stadiums. I mean, stadiums scattered across various states, but then they don't have the capacity, you know, to hold a um, large number of people. And you understand the fact that these are money revenue um, points or money generating form of revenue. And States are losing out, clubs are losing out of it because there's just some form of over dependence on government for funding. Yeah, um, like um, the big man, uh, the big one, Austin Dudu. When you hear that name, Dudu Rume, I mean, if he's talking with so much nostalgia, uh, someone like me will only concur to what he has said uh, until our standard of living is better improved. We can pay for uh, tickets, or I mean, you can subscribe for the whole season. I mean, that's what you get outside in outside climb uh, until that point where we own our own thing. When local investors or Nigerian investors, if that's more appropriate, invest in the country and we believe and the climate, the investment climate is good enough so that when I invest over time, I know I'm getting this back. I'm not expecting any strength in the tax is good. I mean, investors will be encouraged. And if local investors are encouraged and are getting something out of it, definitely international investors will be uh, we definitely get in and players welfare is well taken care of the coaches welfare is well taken care of and they are the auxiliary communities around there yeah know? i mean the community, communities around there are providing those other services i mean people will stay people will stay people invest and over time it becomes a big thing maintaining Teslim and the national stadium in lagos are just adjacent one uh, to each other but when you go there, it's a shadow of what you used to look at. I don't know how many people from Surede and Yaba go to Jose for every Saturday. Yeah. We want to go watch football. I mean, it's not really encouraging, and that is just the basic truth. So we don't even need CAF to tell us anything. We don't need the, the world FIFA to tell us anything. We know the state of things when our standard of life is better. I think people will have something to spare and say recreation. Because sport is recreation. Yes, it's business. But if you don't have anything to spare, my brother... You better want to survive with whatever you have. Well, sad situation. What then would you describe it as worse for Manchester United in pre-season, losing to Arsenal, 
two goals to one. Or Manchester City losing to AC Milan, 2-3. I don't want to mention the other club, but please discuss. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, before the Kevin game... is pre-season. Yeah, you know, I'm, 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 I'm not taking it personal, but before the game, I had a, I had a conversation with uh, Governor, and, I, and our point was, any game between Manchester United and Arsenal, there's nothing like friendly. Mm. It's going it's going to look like a do or die affair. Same thing applies to us now. Manchester United playing Liverpool. It might it can be friendly, but they don't take it as if it's friendly. So Chelsea playing who? Oh, Chelsea played their Celtic. I'm not surprised. Celtic's actually Celtic Celtics you want you want to compare Celtic last season they took their they, they won their league. No, Chelsea, and they are very Chelsea, very fast. Chelsea. No, he says Chelsea played Celtic. No, no. Chelsea no. lost to uh, yeah, Celtic. Oh, okay, you don't want to talk about Celtic. Celtic. <laughs> Celtic. 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 The coach is still trying to get his first level, so I, I know that's what he's trying the to do. Did you yes, see the goals? <laughs> I, no, I, 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 I watched Chelsea game. I watched the game. So the goals felt like they were playing PS5 or something. Very easy. <laughs> I blame I blame, I, I, some, I blame the the goalkeeper. I blame Sanchez for some of the for like two of the goals. There are mm. some he can he could actually hit at. Some pundits believe yeah, that yeah. it's not yeah. to go and bring a basket bar headed <laughs> goal to to <laughs> Oh sorry, we have skin cuts. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. What about Pep? <laughs> I'm sorry. So Liverpool have rejected an offer worth eleven point eight million pounds from Marcel for Japan's Wataru Endo. The 31 year old defensive midfielder did join Liverpool from Stuttgart for about 16.2 million pounds. A lot of money going down. But then you say no. Can you, no who no, who no, doesn't no, no. take money from the team? Who leaves money 16, on the team? You bought, you, you bought this guy 16, just one year. The guy never had a good playing chance last season with Liverpool. Now they want to sell him and level. Come on, it's going to, it's the bad business for them. I think yeah, they should, it's, should it's, give him. Do you leave it's, money on the table? For some reason, you're looking at uh, profit. Yeah. yeah. So I think they should give him one more season before they even think of selling him. All Southampton are closing in on a £7 million signing of forward ben Bertin Diaz from Spanish side Vela Real. He's expected to move to St. Mary's to end his short spell in Spain. You know, he moved to um, the Yellow Submarine uh, last season. Uh, that was during the summer after leaving Blackburn following five years at Ewood Park. Paris Saint-Germain have an agreement in principle with 24-year-old English forward Jadon Sancho. They, um, they must meet Manchester United's asking price, which is about £50 million. And that's what we hear. So from there, we'll move real quickly and real sharp to sports business before we wrap it up because we are practically out of time and I wouldn't want to take uh, Black, the director, for granted. And as much as he's a playboy. Anyway, <laughs> Gennaro are still pushing for a deal. Um, then we're hoping to see that push through. Coca-Cola. Betway has furthered its Premier League presence. Yes, via a global betting partner deal with Manchester City to add to a similar agreement with Arsenal and Brighton plus its West Ham shirt sponsorship. That's uh, some of the information we have there. And... Um, I'd want you to run that up quickly for me, real quick, before we call it a wrap. So we've talked about Coca-Cola. And yes. A bet, bet, bet way. Well, Coca-Cola, we hear that uh, they kicked off the Paris games with a bang, dropping an original song called Hello World, which is performed by Anderson, Pierre, and Gwen Stephanie. Well, we've practically been pushed away and pushed out of the studio. It feels like that anyway. Yeah. So we'll just uh, call it a wrap on the show. Hopefully the Nigeria Super Falcons will do us proud by Wednesday. But then we'll get to talk about it ahead of the game on Wednesday on the show. Guys. Well, uh, I, still, I, I still believe in them. I, I still hope they do something different. But it's going to be a painful thing if they actually lost yeah. to Japan as in, without calling a goal. It's going to be a painful, but I wish they should actually. I just need a win. I just need a win for them because it's. I, I'm. I'm not just waiting for Nigeria. I'm waiting for all African African teams. Yes, all African teams. I'm waiting for them. Anyway, I see an African. I support you with everything I've got. Unless there's no African, I choose someone. Someone else. I just. I just. I just wish they do something. Did they, they? They make us smile on Wednesday. Well, Juvi, you have done your closing in the beginning, so. 
Basically, Africans go out there and represent whatever happens, Falcons. My heart is with you guys. Yes, the state of the nation is a state of everything we're witnessing there. And we do pray for peace, peace in Nigeria. Shalom. Shalom, Nigeria. Shalom. Peace out over you, man. Love and respect. Stay out of trouble. Many thanks to you for joining us on the program today. And of course, follow us on social media handles, our various social media handles, which is scrolling on the screen. Scoop News Television across the board would love to interact and take your feedback. My name is TC Barra. Yeah, for everyone who has made this possible, do yourself a great day and bye for now.